Oh, hello there. And how is everybody doing today? Are you well? <laughs> I am so delighted to hear that. And me? Oh, yes. I'm doing very well. I am still above the grass. Thank you. <laughs> and what are we going to do today? Well, we are going to go flying. Yes, do you think that's a good idea? Right then. I've got everything set up. Everything is ready. I did the final tests yesterday. Everything seems to be running fine. So I am going to attempt to do for the third time the flight between Bangalore VOBL and Mali in the Maldives VRMM. And hopefully we will get to do the whole flight. <laughs> I'm rather looking forward to this. And why the Maldives? Well, it was requested by Captain GL. He wrote me and said, I know you have a long list of flight requests, but please add Bangaluru VOBL to Mali VRMM in the Maldives. So of course, and today is a very good day to do it. Here in the UK, we have seven degrees Celsius, cold. That's 44 degrees in Fahrenheit. The Maldives, well, the weather there is a little unsettled, but they have good temperatures and why not go to someplace warm? But what about Italy, you ask? Oh, I just spoke to my pal in Verona, Italy, and Father Ludovic says they have 12 degrees there. 12! <laughs> That's 54 Fahrenheit. So when, he, when we spoke, we did that FaceTime thing, you know, on the phone. And he's there with his jumper and his coat on and he's in the car going off to a deanery meeting. My goodness me, if he's wearing a coat in Italy, well then it's definitely the Maldives for me. <laughs> now, I looked it up and Indigo Airlines does that flight between the two points. So we'll be following Indigo Airlines 6E8253. So that's flight 8253 of Indigo Airlines. Now, I did have some wonderful scenery for uh, Bengaluru. You may remember that, oh, a couple of months ago, I did a flight, I think, between Calcutta and uh, Bangalore. And um, the scenery was fine. But then I was running 5.0 P3D, version 5.0, and also, I had everything set for just HD on the three screens in the back. Now, when I installed it this time, or tried to, it wouldn't take it. This is what I found. Look at this. Flat. All the buildings were flat. So we can't have that, can we? So I contacted FSDG, who makes the scenery, and so they're working on it at the moment, but they apologize that this is an unusual situation 
and they're going to come up with a resolution. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to use the standard P3D default scenery for Bengaluru. Uh, it'll be fine. But I do have some very fine scenery for the Maldives. Beautiful scenery put out by Aerosoft. And it does work. So I did check that everything works on that. So we are set and ready to go. Are you ready? Are you ready to take a flight? I am. It's been weeks since I was taking a flight. So today we are making a test flight with Ryanair 186. I've loaded up champagne, all complimentary, caviar, all complimentary, because this is going to be a test flight of the new 186. Are you ready? Good. Then let's go into pre-flight and check out the weather and the other conditions and make ourselves a flight plan. All right? Well, here we are at Flight Aware, and I'm looking at Indigo 8253, which you can see right here. This particular flight arrived over four days ago. There has been some interesting weather patterns, so uh, we shall have to see what our weather's going to be in just a little bit. But this particular flight had a taxi time of 11 minutes. They took off on time, but arrived 56 minutes late. So we shall have to watch out for the weather here. Here's the route that they took and pretty much a straight down shot all the way down here. And then they had this little bit of a twist around here to determine, I suppose, well, that's what probably caused the delay. We'll have to see. Let's see what their altitude was. The cruise was 36,000 feet. So we will put in the same for ourselves. And they were flying an Airbus A320, which isn't bad at all. We are pretty much uh, the same with a Boeing 737 when it comes to flight characteristics. So we should do about the same performance. Right, let's have a look at VOBL. Now here we are looking close up. Here you can see the weather is coming in and it is pretty poor visibility. According to this it says it's a minimum VFR up here. Visibility is 8,000 meters Cloud scattered at 1,200, scattered 1,800, broken at 8,000. Temperature is 26 degrees, nice and warm. Dew point 19, Q and H 1012, pretty close to being standard. No significant change anticipated. So if the wind is 40 degrees, let's have a look at the runway. Well, that's going to be interesting. In all likelihood, we may be taking off from runway nine to go into that wind. We shall have to see what they give us when we ask for clearance to taxi and take off. Now, having a look at our destination, here are the island group and here's Mali, that's the Verona airport right there. And it's pretty much a north-south uh, runway. And according to this, the wind is 20, 270 degrees at 16 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more. There are some towering cumulonimbus 
in the general area. Scattered 11,000 feet, broken 25,000 feet, temperature 29 degrees, dew point 25 degrees, Q&H 1008. So the pressure is a little bit on the low side. Let's have a look at rain and see what the rain is like for the rain accumulation. Well, there's scattered rain through the area, some pretty heavy rain to the north. So it looks like we're going to be running into some wet weather when we get down there, but they still say it is VFR for the moment. And here's the runway looking at it. In all likelihood, we'll be coming in from the top which would be runway 18, but that could change because it is side on. I mean, this is a vicious crosswind at, uh, at that location, and it is 16 knots. It's a 16 knot crosswind. It's going to be very interesting indeed. All right, let's make our flight plan. We are Ryanair, we are 186, we're departing VOBL, and we're going to go to VRMM. And there's the alternate, it's given us. Here's our airframe. Cruise profile six, there's our registration number. Schedule flight time here is two hours and 10 minutes. It is suggesting that we'll be departing on runway 09 and arriving runway 36. Well, we'll have to see. Now for altitude, we'll put in flight level 360. Passengers are four. Cargo, we have one ton and there's the information and there there is our route so let's just go down and have a quick look at that there is the route it's suggesting that we'll be going down making the swing and then facing to the north to come in on runway 36 well we shall have to see all right, we will save this and done that. Now generate the flight plan. And there we are. Our block fuel is going to be 11,379 kilos. Wow. Well, that it says here the payload cargo is limited by the weight, so we may not have as much caviar and champagne as we hope for, but we should be able to keep everybody pretty happy, I think. And there's the route. Here is the flight level 360 and there is the, the flight route itself. Here's the essential information. There's the average wind and speed. And there's the block fuel. And there's the reserves for the taxi and the trip together. No tankering is recommended, it says. So down here, we have the wind information for the three flight levels that we will need to put in for our descent. 
Now going all the way down to the bottom, let's have a look and see what the... Oh, that's interesting. You can see here there are some very definite weather fronts in the area and we're going to be passing right through one of them. And here, this is looks like the reason for the minimums at VOBL. Very interesting. Here's the wind direction and speed at flight level 300 and here is at 340 and there's 390. Well, this is closer to the one that we'll be flying at and it looks like we'll be having a little bit of crosswind perhaps headwind going down to this particular fix and then slight tailwind as we go down here to make our turn to come into Mali. And there's the the profile taking off from VOBL. The climb, there's the top of climb, 36,000 feet at this point, and then Mugba, Tikal, and VRMM for a landing, all being well. Right, let's go into Navigraph charts and get ourselves set up. Here's looking at the Indian Ocean in this particular area. So let's go in flights. We need new flight from Simbrief and we'll use the one that we just made. And there it is, it came right up. So I'm going to click on here, open the charts list. I'm going to need the airport added to the bottom here, you see. Um, it makes no difference for parking stands because we don't have the uh, proper FSDG airport scenery. We're just using P3D standard and it's not got but four stands. So we'll ignore that for the moment. But we have, says we depart runway 09 right. I'm going to change that to 9 left. And it says it's direct to go to this particular waypoint. So there are a number of options here. So let's see what the departures are for runway nine left. Well, this looks like the appropriate standard instrument departure. So we will add that to the route. And that will be the, the Actim 7 Alpha. So we'll look for 7 Alpha here and we will add that. Let's have a look at this. Here's the an overlay. So if we're taking off in that direction, then this is our route going down. All right, now looking at the charts list for our destination. And we'll put in the stands. They're suggesting here that it will be runway 36. So let's have a look at the ILS Zulu. And this one is suggesting this particular approach. So we'll add this to the bottom. Well, that is our route. If all goes well, just close these down. It 
looks like that is pretty much following the previous flight so this looks like it's the the flights that we'll be taking here we go all the way from the top and down to our destination all right we have our flight plan we have the information so let's go on into the cockpit and get ourselves ready for the flight this is the day following all of the plans that I just made that you just saw I was on the flight getting ready and I noticed that there were some odd things happening but I worked this morning and I've got things sorted out look at this the big thing of today is I now have the FSDG VOBL Bengaluru scenery all working it's actually installed properly it's working on that on the computer so that's the first thing so I'm now at stand 23 and uh, we're going to work from there now for those of you who like um, details I have Active Sky running I also have the Active Sky cloud add-on thing but not the HD just the standard one I also have the Active Sky set for all of the defaults as well including the defaults for EA uh, the enhanced atmospherics P3D is running on both of these but on this one on the external screen I have atmos uh, EA activated and of course HDR yes that's activated too I've also maxed out all of the graphics to get the greatest detail that I can this one of course I've cut down the graphics because I only need them just for the instrumentation and not for external views right I think hmm the other thing of course I did this morning is I made a new flight plan because obviously weather conditions have changed since yesterday and we will have to see what exactly we're going to get so I've got things running let's go on in and let's see if I can remember how to start this up Wow <laughs> right battery on we have juice in that so I'm going to now start the APU and let's see if we can get all of that running I'm just going to check yes the fuel is all in so I'm all set for fuel and the engine gas temperature in the in the APU is rising in a moment I should be able to switch <coughs> on to the juice and the generator coming from the APU um, forward service hatch is open the air stairs the equipment you know the electrical stairs they're already down and coming up in a moment there it is right I've now got 115 volts coming from the APU to power everything in here let's see how things work out 
Well, the lights are all on my radio pedestal. And there they are. All the instruments have popped up. So, next thing I need to do is turn on the, the IRS to get the GPS all warmed up. And in the meantime, I'll turn on the galley, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. Both work. Good. And here's the left and the right window heats. Probes are on. There's the electrical hydraulic. Oh, did you hear that? The little rumbling in the background? That's Active Sky saying that there is some weather conditions around here. Oh, well. Then over here, I'm going to turn on the APU bleed, the circulation fans, and the packs. And there you can hear the air blowing through the nozzles. And over here, turn on the steady light. Our cruising altitude today is going to be 36,000 feet. I know you don't normally put this in when you've got ATC controlling everything, but this is a shakedown flight today and we will do things a little differently. So I'll put 36,000 feet in our pressurization here. Landing altitude is zero because in Mali the runway is pretty much level with the water. Well, so far so good on that. All right. Now let's go ahead and put in the initialization. So uh, we are at BOBL. We're at 23. I'm not sure if this is going to come in. It did. But let's just check for the coordinates and we'll have a look at the chart. So 23 should be 13, 12, 1 and 77, 42, 4. That's it. That's correct. So put that into the temporary memory and then load it in. Now I'll go to the root and we'll put the information in. So B O B L destination B R M M. We are Ryanair 186, so R Y R 186. Go to the next page and now we'll go to our chart to see how we're going to put this in. We're going to go direct to OMUKA. 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 Wow. Interesting letter combinations. And then direct to ACTIM. So ACTIM. And then we take the whiskey one uh, whiskey one one eight to go to Charlie Charlie Bravo. Then we take the whiskey four three to take us to Tumblr. And then we go direct to Nokid. And, and then we take the Romeo 457 to go to Mugba. So M U B. M-U-G-B-A and that is it so we'll activate that 
and execute. We'll go into our fix, which of course is going to be VRMM. We want a four mile radius, a 10 mile radius, and a 30 mile radius. Go to the descent, go to the forecast. Now, transition level, the transition level according to our charts is flight level 130. So we'll put 130 in for the transition level up here. And then we need to put in the altitude information for these three levels here. Flight level 200, 150, and at 10,000 feet. The Q and H at our destination is 1007. So the, it's a little bit low pressure out there. The descent to, to 251 and eight. At 150, it is 253.9. And at 10,000 feet, it is 272.14. And we will execute that. Now, we don't know what we're going to be departing on yet. So that's the next thing that we need to put in. So I'm going to tune to the ATIS and see what they have. Kempagata International Airport Information, Papa 1126, Zulu, Wind Calm, Visibility 4, Sky Conditions, Few Clouds at 800, Ceiling 1000, Overcast, Temperature 242.21, Altimeter 1012, Landing and Departing, Runway 9 -er. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Papa. Well, there's a couple of things there. Uh, Active Sky was predicting runway 27 and it's actually going to be runway 9. Um, I also did not hear them say that VFR aircraft report position and all the rest, so I'm guessing now that it will be an IFR departure. Anyway, we'll put in that and we'll be on the Actem 7A departure. And then for arrival, it's predicting runway 36, so we will put in ILS Zulu 36. We'll be using then the the M3A for arrival. There's the M3A, and it will be the Raxon transition. And execute that. Now we'll go into the legs and switch to plan, and just go through the steps to make sure that we don't have any issues here so there's the first one all right going through steady now there's Tikal that's where the brake comes and there's racks on so we'll bring racks on up to there and I think that should give us a straight in run onto runway 36. Good. So, turn the weather on, terrain on there. Good, we've got things set there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 220 into the barometer here, so that that's going to be for our decision height. 
We're leaving on runway Niner, so that's going to be course 92092 is the heading. So I'm going to put that in. 092. Good, got that. Things all right so far. Okay. The ATIS at our destination is 125.5. So I'll get that ready. The localizer at our destination is going to be 108.7. I'll turn on the yaw damper and see if the flight continuity light goes good. It did. So now we're ready to go and perform the initialization. Now our block fuel is 10,967. Reserves are 5,653, the trip is going to be 4,633, which makes 10,286, or 10.3 to round it out. So 10.3, reserves 5.7, double click the zero fuel weight to have it calculate number six we are cost index six we're flying at three six zero cruise wind is one oh three twelve transition altitude is eleven thousand feet and then go to n1 limit We'll take the 24. Takeoff will be flaps 10. There's the center of gravity. Trim wheel, that's this wheel right here, is 503. Put in these figures. So 148 for V2. Right. Turn this on. Let's see if we have. We have a good, so I'll put that in. Ground, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi south, departure with a paw. Ryanair 186, ground, airport is currently IFR, request denied. Ah, they have denied us. Well, we are Ryanair, and we can do anything we want. So that's what we will do. All right, go to menu. FS actions, go to pushback. Now we are going to need to go back and have our tail to the left and our nose to the right. So straight out, we'll do a standard left, turn nose to the right, 90 degrees. And right, let's start. Let's, let's see if we can start this. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready to push. Tail to the left. Parking brakes off. Parking brakes off. Navigation lights are on. The packs are now brakes off. Released. <coughs> we'll start with engine number two today. So I'm going to switch to generator 2 up on here. Brakes released, here we go. And now I'm going to switch to ground on here and let's see, yep, the start valve has opened. Here we are, it's coming up. When this gets to 24, I'll introduce the fuel. And 24, it's picking up, 
Now it's caught on, good. The engine gas temperature is cranking up very nicely. I'm looking for the low pressure light to go out. There it is, it went out. That's climbing. We can hear the engines. Yes, there they are, there's the engines. This was one of the issues I had yesterday. I was trying to do this and I had no sound for the engines. So I had to track down all the problems. Right, starting engine number one, we have 115 volts there, so we're looking good. <coughs> and start valve is open, climbing up to 18. 23. Push back complete. Park brake, please. Introducing fuel. Parking brake is on. Brake set. Looking for the low pressure light to go out. Engine gas temperature is climbing nicely. Alright, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for a slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you. There's the other engine. We're looking, there it is. We now have 115 volts. So now I've got both engines running, both generators are running. So I'm going to switch to the main engines now for power. And I'm going to turn the packs back on. I'm going to turn off the APU bleed. And I'm going to turn off the APU. Now I'm going to turn on the position light to, to strobe. Look across the board, make sure everything is good. All the lights are out, looking fine. Turning on the fuel pumps for the main engines for the excuse me for the main fuel underneath because now we have fuel in the center tank right switching to RTO and going to flaps 10 verify takeoff speeds okay And it's 149, so we've made an adjustment there. Right. Well, if your seat belts are tied on now and the cabin door is closed, let's just make a quick check. Generators are on, probe heats are on, anti-ice is not required, isolation valve collect correct, engine start levers idle, detent correct, flight deck door closed and locked, recall, check, flight controls are clear and check, flaps, green lights, check, stabilizer trim, 5 is correct, Auto brake, RTO, check, speed brake, lever down and detent, correct, ground equipment is clear, we are ready to taxi to the active. We'll turn on the taxi lights and tell the attendants we're about to move. So have a good look around. Nothing is in the way. There's a little bit of traffic running hither and yon, but we'll have to see what happens. Kamikazes are everywhere.
straight for me. Get out of it! Get out of it! Dear oh dear oh dear. to turn up here to get to the good the brakes are working that was one of the things I needed to check my tiller is also working Ranch 
Initial brakes seem to be working. That's a good sign. So here we are at the whole short line for runway niner. And I'll stop here. Put the brake on. All lights are on. Switching to continuous. Leads are on, start switches, continuous, correct, cabin is secure, we are now set to take off and there's nothing coming, nothing on the runway, so we will just simply do it, alright, attendance, here we go. I'm going to move out into the center line. This really is nice scenery. FSDG does a lovely job with this. Ah. Was that a steering issue I had there?
out by enhanced atmospherics and with active sky providing some wonderful cloud formations here.
within 13 miles of Mali and we are on our descent we can start to see some of the islands around us and we are going to come in to land on runway 36 so the weather is changeable <laughs> that's the best I can say
will be making our base turn in just a moment we're coming up on the the point here we are we're turning base for runway 36 I have flaps 5 and I've reduced the speed down to 170 knots all the lights are on, no smoking signs seatbelt signs are on, engines are continuous everything is set for landing I'll be putting down the gear in just a little bit
to need to make a, a turn around and go back to get to the main terminal. This 
is number nine, I think. switch everything off looks all right all right now last thing that off and fuel off battery off and shutdown is complete and here we are it says Mali International Airport we made it that was quite a crosswind I was looking at the windy.com app on my smartphone and I saw that the winds were going to be crosswind coming in and they were pretty strong but we made it discovered a few little bugs along the way things I'm going to have to correct I'm going to have to recalibrate my tiller because that's was a little off it's a little bit too too sensitive and oh the other thing I had to do just in case you hadn't noticed is I forgot to set my clock computer clock to start with local time that is local time here and I was off by about four or five hours so I had to change it mid-flight <laughs> sorry about that otherwise it would have been a night landing here at Mali which then we would not have seen all of the lovely little islands around it but finally Captain GL, we made the flight. We actually made it. This was a shakedown flight. So, yes, there were a couple of issues, but we did all right. Finally, after all these weeks, we actually made the flight that you requested so long ago. Right. I will then see you for the next flight of Ryanair 186. See you.